Have you ever transformed something old into something new? An unusual story about free canoes sets the stage for another energizing morning prayer time. Vietnamese farmers have discovered an unexpected huge supply of free canoes. And that's a really big deal in regions that depend on rivers cutting through the forest to move vital supplies and people to nearby villages. And where did this huge supply of free canoes come from? Thousands of fuel tanks dropped by American fighter planes during the Vietnam War have been converted into makeshift riverboats. The drop tanks significantly increased the fuel capacity and range of fighter planes, but they also slowed the planes down. So in combat, fighter pilots would ditch lots of empty tanks and full tanks if they needed to maneuver quickly against an enemy fighter plane or missile. This created an unexpected blessing for the Vietnamese farmers. The wooden canoes they had been using for centuries were problematic, with limited lifespans and in need of regular maintenance and repair. Their clever transformation of fighter jet fuel tanks produced a seemingly endless supply of free, durable, and lightweight metal canoes. God has a special life-giving message for us today about transformation. So let's dive into the Word of God, led by the Spirit of God, using the Lord's Prayer as our guide to energize us with praise and purpose and peace and purity. Let's pray. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. We praise you that your Spirit transforms us into your image as we spend time in your presence, that our faces reflect your glory and we become more and more like you. Let's take a moment here and reflect how is God's Spirit transforming us into His image lately? May your kingdom come and your will be done. Lord, it is your will that we actively feed the hungry and help the oppressed. Then your light will shine in the darkness, and our darkness will be transformed into the brightness of the noonday sun. Let's pause here and reflect. How might God transform our darkness today by bringing light to others? Give us this day our daily bread. We have many needs and worries and challenges, but you can transform our valley of trouble into a door of hope. Let's pause here and reflect and give our troubles to God now and ask him to transform them into hope. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. We know that Satan has transformed himself into an angel of light, making bad things look good. Let's spend a moment asking God to help us recognize and resist his schemes and be transformed into the new creations he made us to be. Thank you for this time, Lord, to energize us with your praise as you transform us to reflect your glory. And with purpose as we transform the darkness into light for people who are hurting. And with peace as we trust you to transform our valley of trouble into a door of hope. And with purity as you help us recognize and resist Satan's attempts to transform bad things to look like good things. For yours, Lord, is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. If you want a transcript of today's prayer or email updates of future prayers, 
just click the link below or go to lordsprayerday.com.